So again, in lecture, sometimes I go a little bit beyond what's on your worksheet. So I want to give you one more example, not on your worksheet, of one of these vector math problems. It's a little bit more complicated, and more complicated than you'll be doing right away. But it's a plus 1.5 times c. What's that going to equal? Well, the first thing you want to remember is that if I've got 1.5 times c, this has higher precedence than the addition. So when I go to do my math, I want to make sure that that 1.5 times my c vector gets done first. So I've gone ahead here and put in the actual values for a and for c. But I'm going to remember I want to do this second part first. So I've got 1.5 times the 0 for the i hat plus my 1.5 times the 1.7 for the j hat. So I'll go ahead and do this multiplication first. And when I simplify those things, well, 1.5 times 0 is 0. 1.5 times 1.7, put that in my calculator, that gives me 2.55j. So now that I've done this multiplication part, now I can expand back out and look at the addition again. So again, I've got my original a, but now I'm adding to it not just c, but 1.5 times c. Once again, I want to take the i components and group them together, and the j components and group them together. So that's going to give me my two i components, the 3 and the 0, put together, and my two j components, the 2.5 and the 2.55, put together. And when I simplify that math, of course, 3 plus 0 is just 3, and 2.5 plus 2.55 gives me 5.05j. So this is an example of doing vector math where there's actually multiple math calculations and you have to follow the same order of operations that you would do in a regular algebra problem. Keep something like this in your notes for further reference, but it doesn't have to be on your worksheet.